so very pissed. So I'm just going to start the battle over. I, I, I've done everything. I've looked up every kind of diagnostic to run on page faulted, unpaged area. And, um, uh, geez, what's where the error it gave me was, uh, I don't even know anymore. I just, it's all just a rage. I've had so much trouble recording this already. Somebody could please help me. This is not an old computer. This is, this, this isn't even two years old. Anyway. All right. Yeah, what he said. What he said. All right. So, whose rear am I kicking this time? Okay. He just comes through the door. See, what I was commenting on is that Sorry I... Sorry to keep you waiting. Actually have the... Uh, He's actually signed up for this. He just came through from another dimension. Both of them are extraordinarily durable. Take this! Fire! Whoa! I've seen candles that are scarier than you. He's using clips for him. Let's take this to the next level! Now we're leaving the arena. That kind of a ring out. Oh, okay. Get the cannons. He slowly makes his way up. Yeah, you're fine, get up. Whoa! You can teleport? Mind blown! Let's see what you think of this! Too close to the Sora, or er, son. Pit may have had the advantage in flight and experience, but he couldn't beat Sora's strength, toughness, and speed. Pit may have dodged a laser moving 90 million miles per hour, but Sora's reaction speed was quick enough to dodge natural lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke, which natural the right flight, lightning. moves at around 220 million miles per hour, over twice as fast as Pit. That, combined with his teleporting and time manipulation powers, meant Sora okay, was I did just not too quick time for Pit to land very many big hits. Plus, when Sora shot that Keyblade beam to the moon, it took one second flat. That's 1.28 times the speed of light, much faster than anything Pit's reacted to before. Of course, oh, okay. Pit did have enough weapons to keep Sora busy, but Sora's impressive and wide-ranging magical arsenal provided multiple counters for pretty much anything Pit threw at him, including okay. superior... Sora has transformed himself back from similar inanimate objects on his own? 
healing techniques. Hey, remember that building Sora cut through? Slicing it up like Swiss cheese was impressive enough, but this building was completely made of stone from top to bottom, and Sora cut through seven at once. These buildings may have been composed of a modest stone like granite, which has a minimum shearing strength of 14 megapascals. In comparison to Sora's height, each building was about 23 feet tall. By measuring Sora's largest slash and the distance cut through all seven buildings, we can determine Sora's striking energy to equal, at minimum, 78 tons of TNT. That's way more than Pit's boulder pulverizing feet. No wonder this guy beat Herc. Speaking of which, let's compare some of the strongest beings Sora and Pit have taken hits from. The amount of energy needed for Hercules to throw that rock titan into space had to have been around 24 megatons of TNT, whereas Hades strikes were equivalent to only 30 tons at best. So Pit had never survived anything close to Sora's strongest attack. Just by numbers alone, Sora's strength, speed, and durability just outclassed Pit. And the Keyblade by itself had a way more impressive track record than any of Pit's weapons. You might say it was the key to this fight. And when we pit them together, one of them was bound to be a Sora loser. The winner is Sora. Okay, good on Sora. Thanks for watching. Check out the exclusive commentary on this episode by clicking the box right over there. And thanks to McLeod Gaming for letting us use their sprites in this battle. You can check out their latest game and the music used in the yeah, battle in the links in the description. Yeah, didn't so that means both of those. Okay, I heard a howl. Hang on. Is it is it going to be... Uh, Talbane versus uh, Saberwolf. It's getting freaky, creepy. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Frank West versus uh, Leon Kennedy, Chris, Va Jill Valentine. That's who I was. Okay, Frank West versus Leon Kennedy. That's gonna be an interesting one. Why did they have a werewolf? And I know Frank West is canonically friends with a young Chinese vampire named Shinko, who is a dark stalker. That's if you've played the, um, the Project Cross Wars, or X Wars, or whatever it was called. Anyway, like I said, I just, I'm very tired. I haven't been able to keep up with a lot of these mentally lately because they're just like, um,. I don't know, they're, they're dealing with a lot of stuff that I just don't know. And, uh, they, they always do that thing where they, they kind of hint at something, but they don't focus on it, and then that's the whole big focus of how the character won. Yeah, it just seems to me, though, that I think a pulverizing strike, uh, you know, to literally send something to dust would have to be stronger than something that just cuts through it, right? Because it left nothing. Uh, of course, then it also begs the question of what they can take. And mm. Palatina didn't say anything in this match, though. I was kind of surprised. I thought for sure she'd be saying stuff. I don't know. I just... I wasn't really looking forward to this just because I'm... I know I haven't been able to be at my best for these analyses lately and I haven't been my most excited. Uh, my computer is all shot to hell. I still like doing them, but I just feel like I'm not... I feel like the problem's on my end, really. Um, if you guys could tell me what you like, what you don't like, etc. I know what you don't like is that Athena is not here with me right now. She's over there having some breakfast. Um, I just haven't felt good lately, so... <sighs> I was just kind of wondering how I was going to be able to manage it today. But, you know, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, tell me what I could do differently. Tell me how I can fix page fault in unpaged area and all of that. Yeah, hi Lawrence. Maybe you could join me someday. You want to join me next time? Yeah, you want to join me next time for some little budgie fun? Yeah, you want to join me for some uh, zombie breaking? So, 
Duh, geez. Um, from what I understand, um, Leon has a lot more brute strength and firearm skill, but Frank can make a weapon out of pretty much anything he finds. Ugh. Um, I don't know how durable either one of them are. But simply based on those things, brute strength versus unpredictability, I'm going to go with Frank. But I know he's also, he's a journalist. He doesn't have the training that Leon has. Hey, you know, for once my camera isn't flickering or giving me pain. My foot is giving me pain. I don't understand that. <sighs> anyway, though, I'm just gonna go. I'm just feeling kind of <sighs> not really apathetic. Like I love watching death battle. I love doing reactions, but I just knew that my reaction today was not gonna be my best. Um, not just because I don't know the characters very well, but also because just right now. So I'm just gonna go. Uh, maybe I'll take a nap. That sounds good. Ooh.